Good morning, Rabbi Yisai. How's everybody doing? Lili Nishmas Imi, Ruzbas Mordechai. Today's shir is sponsored by Mordechai Chaim Karen. In honor of my wife who encouraged me, in parentheses, strongly. When a man says strongly, I think he means strongly, to embark on this Daf Yoimi journey. Wow. Kol HaKavod, special, with a focus on the Yoimi and the Chevra. I hope it can stay the course. Givaldik. We should all honor our wives, whether they encouraged us or not, but they're a very big part of this. Rufur Shleim from my brother, Azaria Yonatan Shimshon Shmuel Ben Leoni. He needs a liver transplant early. Has recently been admitted to the ICU. Uh, and Rufur Yonatan Ben Liani. And the saga continues. Here's sort of, uh, hopefully this is the end of it. This is by Keith Reich, the attorney, the real estate attorney, in honor of Sholem Bayes, and in parentheses, MDY. We shouldn't be fighting over politics. So Yishkoyach Keith. We have uh, two emails today from two Bernards. This is a very special email to me. This is from Rabbi Bernard David from Manchester. I've been bar- I've Baruch Hashem recruited a new member, ex Liverpool Rebbe Liazza Wolfson, to our Daf family Shir Chaburo. He should be matzeh me zayich to be as stimulated, inspired as all the chaburim of all worldwide Daf family are. The Birkas called to Bernard David. So two things. The reason why it's so special to me is better than any aged wine and. Th- a re- new recruit is the best gift one can give me personally and to the whole Hebrew. To expand Torah, it's amazing. But I want to say to this also, we just discussed, this one idea, one line, changed the world. And a little over two and a half years ago, David, he came, he saw one of the shurim, I think it was, and he asked if he could join the WhatsApp group and before we knew it, he's saying that he has a Chabura in Manchester. The Manchester Chabura. You see, from Schwartz and different people. And at the time, we didn't realize we were, we were a small growing cheer in Rambet Shemesh. And he's saying he's a Chabura in Manchester that joins us every day on YouTube. And it's possible that he was the original offshoot of MDY. And by him saying it and, and talking about it, it grew to what it, it is today. So... Again, one man's idea, you never know where it goes. So Yishkoyach, Rabbi David, and now his son, Laibi, every day is in the base Medrash MDY, watches the Shir live on the screen because he doesn't have a, a smartphone or anything, with, together with Nachman Seltzer and Avi Factor and Avi Gargir, one of the originals. Here's another one. I don't know if you guys remember, all the way in the beginning of Brachas, we had Bernie the Burn. So this is Rabbi Bernard Liptag, Rebelli. I started learning Rambam Yoimi when the cycle began on Yudchez Tammuz. I do a parak a day. Today's parak is Hilchas Shabbos. Tez Zayin. Mokayim Hamukov Mechitzos. Some of the halachas in this parak are in today's daf. Erevin Tzadik Gimel. Amazing. Bernie Liptag. It is amazing. When, when, and the... the his email is, my Torah worlds collide. It's a, it's a way that Kosh Baruch Hu pats you on the shoulder and says you're doing a great job. You're learning here, Perek, here, Daf. So Rabbi Yisai, we have an amazing Daf today. We are holding Daf Tzadik Dalad. Now, before I forget, the truth is, I don't think we have that many, I didn't really ask, but I don't think we have that many Eruv videos. We have a, a couple, and... Since it's not my idea, it's, I believe it's Noam's idea, I think we should help him out. Otherwise, it'll feel really bad. So, Rabbi Isai, if you... What happened to Chicago? They said they're going to do the Arab thing. I know they have a problem with the, with the Heksher over there, and it's going to be... It's politics. Go ahead, Yosef and Zev, do it. Send it in. Something, somebody, somebody else, step, step up to the plate and send us your video. Let's make this uh, see him better than last year. Zog Daily Gemara. Do it for Noam. Do it for Noam. 
Itmar, we are holding three lines from the bottom of Daft Tzad, the Gimel Amit Beis. So we're in the middle of this idea that we just discussed. What happens if a wall between two Chatseris falls down on Shabbos? Both sides made their own Eruv, but now they're open to each other. Do we say that they Aser each other? The Gemara says, no, whatever you start out on Shabbos, that's how it continues through Shabbos. And now we see there's another sheet, Itmar. There's a nice wall between the two Chatseris and it fell down. He doesn't hold of this whole concept that since it was Hutter, Erev Shabbos, it continues. No. Now it's something new. Now, what are we talking about? So Rashi goes into this whole explanation. We pass in like Rib Shimon. And if you have something in your Chatzar, you have a clean Chatzar, you can bring it to another Chatzar. But Rav, don't forget, Rav is of the opinion that if you make an Erev, you cannot bring it from one You can't move it. So, we're talking about they made an Erev here. So you can't bring anything out of your house because Chashash, you might bring it to another Chatzar. And the fact is that since right now this wall no longer exists, it's Nifrat's Bimelai, so they Aser each other. Ushmuel Omar, top of the Tzadik Dalad, Zem Etaltel Ad Iker Mechitza, Vezem Etaltel Ad Iker Mechitza. No. Hoyel Vahutra, Erev Shabbos, we had a good Erev, so everybody could carry within the Chatzar. Now, what are we talking about, says Rashi? We're talking about the Kalim that are in the Chatzar. Zem Etaltel Ad Iker Mechitza, Vezem Etaltel Ad. Iker mechitza. Yeah, but I'm saying we're, we're going from you could take this to another chutzer. You could take your kli from this chutzer and bring it to another chutzer. That's a chiddush. Right, right. I think you're right. You are a hundred percent right. Correct. You could carry within the thing, but even even Caleb, Let's see Rashi inside. Uh, we're talking about kalim that come out of the house. Because if the kli was in the chotzer, the nami. Menachem, where are you? That's right. Okay. I thought you said a second ago that you can't take it out from, you can't go from Chatzar to Chatzar. Okay. I feel, okay, I'm saying, I, st- I was talking about the, ke- the clean in the Chatzar. Fine. So the Kalim in the house, you can take it out from the house, bring it to the Chatzar. The Kalim from the Chatzar, you could always go from one Chatzar to another Chatzar, according to, to Reb Shimon. The only issue is that if there's an Erev, according to Rav, you can't go from, you can't take it out from your house. But Shmuel doesn't hold this whole Erev thing. There's no difference if there's an Erev or not. Says the Gemara, a very interesting story. Rav never said this mafurish that once, that we don't care about if Shabbos came in with an Erev or not. In other words, Rav says that it changes on Shabbos. Status could change. Even though you had an Erev before Shabbos, Shabbos comes along, it changes. Since the wall fell down on Shabbos, you no longer have a wall. It happened a story. The Rav and Shmuel have a Yasve Bahu Chatzar. They were sitting around, Rav and Shmuel were sitting in a Chatzar that had an Eruv, or maybe it was a Sayyachid. And the wall fell down on Shabbos. Our story. Omar Lu Shmuel. So Shmuel tells the, the Talmudim there, Shkoilu Glima Nigiduba. Go, let's hang up a wall. In other words, go carry. Shmuel's of the opinion you could carry within the Chatzar. Rav is of the opinion you can't carry within the Chatzar, only Dalad Amis. So Rav wasn't happy with this. Ahadrinu Rav la'ape. So Rav turned around, he didn't want to see how the Michal Shabbos, so to speak, carrying in the Chatzar. Omer Lu Shmuel, very interesting Lashon. Ikapit Abba, if Rav is upset about this, I have an idea. Shkoilu hemyane v'katruba. Grab Rav's belt 
and use it to tie up this mechitza. In other words, I don't give a hoot about Rav. I think he's wrong. I know what I'm doing. This is the way to do it. Very interesting lasha. Ask the Gemara of the Shmuel, Lamali Ha. Why do you need a mechitza? Why did, why did he trouble these Talmidim to put up a sheet? Why do you need a sheet? Why do you need a mechitza? Ha'amar, Zemetatel, Adik Mechitza, Zemetatel, Adik Mechitza. At the end of the day, they're able to carry all the way to the, to the, to the mechitza where it was. We don't care if the mechitza fell down. He's good. Says the Gemara, Shmuel, Ovelet, Nius, Nabat, Alma. You might have had an issue, like how do you build a mechitza on Shabbos to begin with? The answer is, it's only for privacy, or in England they say privacy, I think, I love that word, privacy. So Memela, that's why he put it, you're right, he didn't need a mechitza, he didn't need the wall to be standing in order for him to carry a sheet, you could go all the way up to it, but he needed it for privacy. So why did Rav say so? Why is Rav playing games? And, and, and turning around, not looking, let him say straight out, Shmuel, you're doing the wrong thing, you're being Mechal Shabbos. Says the Gemara, the Shmuel Abba. It was in Shmuel's community. It's not proper. He rules over there. You don't tell him that. Well, if it's his community, so why is he making a Mechal like that? People, nobody suspects Rav of just sitting there quietly. It would seem like you did admit to Shmuel that you could carry in a situation where the wall fell down on Shabbos, and Rav holds, no, you cannot carry when the Mechitza falls down on Shabbos. You don't say, Kivin Shehudra. Zok de Heilige Mishnah. So everybody, a big uh, happy birthday to Seth. Where is he? Seth Hellman. Finally, we get to see him once in a while when he takes a break from college. Happy birthday. Oh, David Adres. Yishkayach. I got your email, you liked yesterday's shear. Took it out to the porch. Maybe we'll go out to the porch again today. Says the Mishnah, Chatzer Shinifritza Lirshus Harabim. Picture. You have a Chatzer, and as you can see here, the wall is missing. There's actually a couple of stones here. The wall fell down. This entire wall fell down, wide open into a Rishus Harabim. Says the Rebbe Lezbeth, we have a Machloikis. Now, it's more than 10 Amas. Or, as in this picture, it's Bimelaya. The entire, like most of it is gone. Hamachnes mitoichel rishus hayachid. What the Rebbe Lezer says here is that this entire chutz, a tremendous chiddush, for now, for the Havamina, becomes a rishus harab. You see these nice pavers, they become part of the rishus harab. And therefore, if you were to bring an item, an object from somebody else's Rushus Hayachad into this area, you're over uh, is it a rice of carrying from Rushus Hayachad to Rushus Rabbi. Hamachnes mitoichal Rushus Hayachad, oim Rushus Hayachad letoicha, chayev. If you go from here, this new Rushus Rabbi to somebody else's chatzer, you're over chayev. You chayev a carbon, chayev misa, who knows what you chayev? It's a real Rushus Rabbi. The Gemara is going to explain to us that we're not really discussing this entire chatzer, we're just talking about the wall area. We shall see. And everybody discusses why do they change the case. They're arguing with Eliezer, but they're talking slightly differently. They're not talking about the Rosh Hashanah. From with inside it to the Rosh Hashanah. Or going from the main thoroughfare into it. Potter. And anybody that was with us during Mishach the Shabbos, anytime it says... Potter means potter avalaser. In other words, Chachamim say it's aser, but you're potter, you don't have to bring a carbon. Bipnei shehi kekarmelis. This area is considered a karmelis. What's a karmelis? It's not a Rishus Rabbim, because you don't have 600,000 people walking here, you don't have 16 Amis, whatever you think a Rishus Rabbim. And it's not a Rishus Hayachet, because it's wide open. So it's a karmelis. So you're not chayev, you don't have to bring a carbon. It's the Rabbana. Says the Gemara of Rebbe Liazem, Rishum the Nifritz of Rishus Harabim, Habila Rishus Harabim. Just because it's breached into the Rishus Harabim, it turns your private domain into Rishus Harabim. How do you explain that? Says the Gemara in. Yes. Rebbe Liazem, let Hamay the Sanyu Rebbe Yehuda Oimer, Mishum Rebbe Liazem. Rabim Shabiru Derech Laatzmon, Mashabiru Biru. If a bunch of, if society takes over, mob rule, 
they go through your chater. So they make your chater, which is a rabbi. Now, our boys, I listen to this. I hope you guys are not like me. I, I have a very weak memory. And I learned the sugi by myself. And then later on during the day, I learned with my And as I'm learning this, I'm like, I just saw somewhere in the Mishpach magazine or somewhere in Ami, a Maisa Shahoya, where a Rav was walking with this girl. And they were going through this uh, field. And he said, look, we, we, the, the Rabbim chopped it and she yelled at him. Like, I couldn't re- remember which magazine it was. Anybody remember this, if it was Mishpach or Ami? Anybody? No? So I told my Chavrusa, I just as a, because I figured he, he probably doesn't read the magazine. He said, Shaita. Well, he didn't really say that, but he said, Tafnun Gimel Amit Beis. It's a story in the Gemara where Rabbi Yeshua Bechanayah says, I only lost three fights in my life. And one of them was when I walked with a little girl through a field and I said, we can walk here. And she said, no, you're a listim, you're, you're a ganav. It's like, it was only Daphne it was only 40 days ago. It's Kilo, I read, whatever. Okay, fine. I'm happy that you guys didn't jump in and say, yeah, Daphne Gimel, fine. I'm not the only, all right. Anyways, Chazara, Chazara, Chazara. There's a new WhatsApp group about Chazara, Ayin Shum. It's great Gemara. Look it up again. Daphne Gimel, a lot of I got to there. Wow, it's good stuff. Anyway, says the Gemara, Rabim Shabiru Derch La'atzma Mashabiru Biru. Leza says that if the community walks through somebody's field, they do like a land grab. That now becomes their thing. And we did, remember, we were discussing Muncie, you walk through the, people walk through people's backyards. Over there it's with permission, not per, whatever. But at the end of the day, if people walk through, says the Gemara, it's not as simple as you think. Aini. Vamarav Gidalam Rav, Vuhusha Avdalam Derech Ba'isa Sada. That's, you can't just grab land. If there was a path through this chatzar, now there's an argument. The wall fell down. So the community is saying, well, we get a little bit more into the, into the backyard. And he's saying, no, my backyard extends into the Shusarabim. We could use this picture, even though it's for a little later. The community says, that we used to walk over on the blue line. And he says, no, my chatzar goes out to the red line. Okay, so now we have a mechleik is between the whole community and this individual. Who wins? The community. But they, they had a reason to fight. They were fighting over something that existed beforehand. They were able to go through the chatzar. Just they, now they don't know where? Fine. But you can't just go over the guy's backyard and start walking. Through. Oh, we're all here. Uh, we're we're going to make a riot, and uh, during the riot, we're, we're grabbing your land. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. So maybe that's what happened by us. That's exactly, maybe that's what happened. What does Reb Hanina say? The Machloikis is up until the, 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 the Mechitza. In other words, the Machloikis is in here, but that Reb Liezer says the entire Chatzar becomes a Rosh Hashanah. That's what Reb Hanina says. Ad Mekayim Mechitza Machloikis. He says everything, the entire chatzar is, is Rosh Hashanah, including the blue line. And Chacham said, no, not the blue line. In other words, the blue line, not in Narit. So, says the Gemara, Eima al mekoy mechitza machlegs. Not ad, switch the dalit with a lamed. You misheard it. He didn't say ad. In other words, the entire backyard is Rosh Hashanah. That's very hard to understand. How do you turn somebody's backyard into Rosh Hashanah? Like the Gemara asked to begin with. It's a private domain. You can't just... The, the question was that there was a, a Shiloh where exactly the Maka and Mechitza was. It was blue, red. Okay, so over there, the Rebbe holds, it turns into Rosh Hashanah because people started walking there. They held it's theirs. The owner said it's not theirs. But at the end of the day, Rebbe says it becomes Rosh Hashanah because they grabbed it. I changed the wrong window. I, okay, I forgot what it was because I was in America too long. I, I closed that one. I need to close this one. Hold up. Tell me when to stop. I can't see my screen. Okay. Shkoyach. We'll try to remember tomorrow. Much better. Now you can read Keith and this one. Okay, yeah. I saw it, but I said it's not Kedai to get up in middle shear, but if the item's complaining... Who's the Is it uh, Aaron Price again? With the yellow bag? Is my yellow bag out of the way? Okay. And the, Yaakov Rosner, he deserves it. 
Okay, fine. Say that. He wrote a nice email, he gets it. Zagdagimar, vi bai seima. If we're already stopping, Simon Bergen's here. Oh, Yaakov Rosedale. You guys noticed that Yaakov Rosedale wasn't on for, but now, Baruch Hashem, he's back. He's back. Says the Gemara, I don't have a good picture of it, but the first thing that came to mind was if you drive in the Lincoln Tunnel in New York, so you're driving, and all of a sudden you could like you could take like a like a shoulder, like a little bit of a shoulder on the side, not a shoulder of a regular highway because that's really part of the highway. But what happens is sometimes in the Rosh around there's so many people that it's so there's so much traffic that they come they go off to the side, and that's the Shiloh over here. They went off into the side, into the blue line over here. And is that okay? Is that considered Rosh Hashanah now? Because typically they have a nice asphalt lane over here and they don't go. But once in a while they come. So in Mela, that's Machlech. What is Tzidei Rosh Hashanah? The side of the Rosh Hashanah, a little indentation in the Rosh Hashanah. Is that considered Rosh Hashanah or not? Rebbe Lezah Sava, Tzidei Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, Domo. Rebbe Lezah holds it is considered Rosh Hashanah. And therefore, that's exactly what he says in the Mishnah, if you carry from the blue into a Rosh Hashanah, you'd be chayev. V'rabon and Sabri, see the Rosh Hashanah, lav, Rosh Hashanah, and And they say, no, just because once in a while people come off there when there's traffic, it doesn't create a Rosh Hashanah. Ask the Gemara, v'lif look, but see the Rosh Hashanah, ba'alma. So then why do you have to break a guy's wall and make a whole case where the guy's wall fell down? Just say, is see the Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, nothing to do with the wall falling down. Says the Gemara, if it was just, just be a general machloikis in Tzidir Rosh Hashanah, nothing to do with the wall falling down. Where's the machloikis? I found a, in my head this was chifufe, but I might be wrong. In Israel, in a lot of places in the world, you have these beams for you know anti-terrorist beams, but it's more in middle of Rosh Hashanah. This is like on the sidewalk, so that the cars can get up here. So, this might be a better picture. You see these blocks that they put next to the wall so that the animals don't break the wall. Here you have poles, here you have blocks. So, that's chifufe. Now, if there are no blocks, no poles, nothing. So maybe Chacham will admit to Rebbe that that's considered part of Rosh Hashanah. And why not? It's all part of Rosh Hashanah. It's similar maybe to, nah, I shouldn't say, like a, like a sidewalk. But I'm saying if all the cars go there, and there's no blocks, there's no reason for them not to go close to the wall. Maybe they don't. Typically, they, they stay to the center. But it's still part of the Rosh Hashanah. Komash Malon, no. They still argue. And they say, Tzidei Rosh Hashanah, the sides that are really close to the wall, are not part of the Rosh Hashanah. But bottom line is, so where's the whole machloikis here? The whole machloikis is on this blue line. Is this Rosh Hashanah? Is it not Rosh Hashanah? But ask the Gemara of Amitoy Chaka Amar. If you look at the Lashon of the Mishnah, it, it talks about inside the Chatzar, Mitoy Cha, in the, in the Chatzar. It doesn't say anything about on the blue line, on the wall. It says inside, inside the Chatzar. Says the Gemara, I did the Amar Rabbanan Mitoy Cha. Since Rabbanan, who are talking about the Chachamim Marim Rami Toicha L'Rishus Arabim from inside it to the Rishus Arabim. So we're talking about Ah oh, Shalom Aleichem. I think Yeshua just showed up here and causing your ruckus. Okay. He doesn't have. We have uh, our Enikol, the watchdog. Doesn't like when they come in. Fine. The Chachamim Marim Rami Toicha L'Rishus Arabim. So so. Okay. Where am I? I did know Rabban Rami Toicha. Okay. Since Rabban. To use the word mitoycha, and they're talking about from inside. And why the rabbanon say mitoycha? Why are they talking about mitoycha? If rabbanon are arguing on Rebbe Liezer, they should be talking about the same spot Rebbe Liezer is talking about. If Rebbe Liezer is talking about the blue line right over here between the wall, or somewhere around here between the red and the blue and the tzidur, which is rabbim, so why are they referring to the mitoycha? Says the Gemara. So the first stage is. The reason why Rebbe Lezer says the word Mitoycha, he's mimicking Chachamim. But why are Chachamim using that Lashem? Rabbanon Omar Rebbe Lezer, Tzid Rosh Hashanah Rabbim, Umahad Rulei Inu Mitoycha. Where am I? I didn't know Rabbanon Mitoycha. I mean, Rabbanon Omar Rebbe Lezer, Tzid Rosh Hashanah Rabbim. 
Rabbi Lezer is talking about the Tzidah Rishus Rav, the blue line. Rabbanon Omer, Rabbanon, or Rabbi Lezer Tzidah Rishus Rav, Mahadjali in Mitucha. So why why are they answering? Why are they arguing something different? He's talking about the Tzidah Rishus Rav, the blue line, and they they answer him about inside the Chater. Doesn't make sense. Says the Gemara, Rachi Kamar Le Rabbanon Le Rabbi Lezer. This is how it works. Me like a modest lon hecha de metal tel de til tel mitoy chalur shus rabim shus rabim mitoy chal de patur. Don't you agree that this area over here is, if you carry from here, you're patur why? Mipnei she caramelis, it's considered a caramelis why? Because this is wide open, it's very different. People are walking around over here, so it's a caramelis. See the nami laishna. So therefore, they they do argue on the same blue line. But what they're trying to emphasize here is that you agree that this area over here is considered caramelous. So what's the difference between the blue line and inside? It's all caramelous. And Rabbi Lezer, what does he hold? There's a big difference. The blue line is right at the edge of Rosh Hashanah. So there's constant traffic on the blue line. So Mamela becomes part of Rosh Hashanah. Don't bring me a raya from inside next to your barbecue where nobody walks there. That's not a and the Chanavi. That's not a Rishus Rabbi. Givaldik. Ah, what? Oh, Yeshua is sitting in front of them. Do I? Shalom Aleichem, Yeshua. But did you just come to my house? Just shake your head if yes or no. No, just the guy to try to come in. Okay. He ran right back to the basement. Just sat in the seat. So now we can see him. Okay, great. Says the Mishnah, Chatzar Shenifer Del Rishus Harabim. Mishnei Rucho Seho. Yeah, like this uh, out of control truck that ran right through the Chatzar. Yeah, my child, I just thought about it. The MS, Mama just thought about it. When I was a teenager, I was in Kennedy Airport, and out of nowhere, a car went nuts, like started hitting other cars, and sm- went right in between people, didn't hit anybody, Baruch Hashem, hit a beam, and stopped short. And I take a look, and there's an older Hasidic Shagai in complete shock. And what happened was, his son went in to greet the people that just landed, and he told his father, sit here. His father never drove a knife, and the cop came, they said, sir, move. And he went through the through Auschwitz and whatever it was, when a cop told something, he did it without any chachmas. He, he, he put it into gear, he pushed the gas, and went. Kids are, something like that happened over here. A car went through this wall, ended up this wall, let's just say. So now you have two gaps in the chotzer. Right over here, right over here. Now how large are these gaps? The Gemara is going to discuss. And a house... Tornado blew through, so now there's a hole on both ends of the house. We had this in the Masechta brought down. You had a Mavoy, you had the alley, and you couldn't carry there until you put your Lechi or a Kaira, and they fell off on Shabbos. Similar to the case that we had, we started off with. Do we say a Heter? It's a little different because over here, structurally, it's a different. It's something different. So since Erev Shabbos, you had a good lechi, and you could carry in the mavoi, so just, if it falls off on Shabbos, you could continue carrying in the mavoi. So since Erev Shabbos, you had a good lechi, and you could carry in the mavoi, so just, if it falls off on Shabbos, you could continue carrying in the mavoi. Since before Shabbos, you had proper walls, mechitzas around your chatzar, and you were able to carry there, so now that they're breached, a car went through, it doesn't ruin anything. Mutar by Shabbos. Masurim lost the lavoi. Following Shabbos, make sure that you fix the wall. Make sure you put up the lech. Divrei Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yosi Oimer, im mutarim loisi Shabbos, mutarim lasi lavoi. The meman of shach. If it's okay forever, then it's okay today. V'masurim lasi lavoi. And if it's aser in the future, asurim loisi Shabbos. And in fact, the Gemara is going to say this is what he holds. In other words, you, you can't say right now you don't have an eruv, so right now you can't carry. So it's aser. Says the Gemara, What is our case exactly? How, how wide is the breach? If it's less than 10 amos, these walls from side to side, are le- the opening is less than 10 amos, 
If it was just one opening, it's fine. It's a doorway, right? Look, there's a doorway over here. You don't say, oh, it's a breach. It's a doorway. So if you have two of them, what's the difference? You let it have two doors. Avram Avinu had four doors. What's the problem? So you must say that we're discussing a situation where it's more than ten. The, the gap, the breach is more than ten amas. Oh, yachi, afilu nami then one of them is enough to ruin your chatzar. A very large 10 ama gap is it's finished. There's even this story right over here. Here's a, a 10 ama gap. It ruins it. You become a Rosh Hashanah sometimes. Says the Gemara, Omar Rav, lo'ilom be'eser. So now we have a machloikis Rav and Shmuel. Is it 10 amas, more than 10 amas, or not? Says Rav, lo'ilom be'eser. And we're turning to Daf Tzadik Dalet Omid Beis. In memory of my mother, Shendel Bad Aaron Hirsch and Bracha, by her son, Dr. Alan Listhaus, also known as the Tzaddik, Dr. Alan Listhaus. Sponsored by the Austin and Tobias grandchildren, Lila Nishmas, our Bubby, Zissel Bas Chaim. So, Rav says, Loilom Be'eser. The breach is 10. So, it's less than 10. And what's going on here? What does it mean two walls were breached? Not like this picture that there's a wall here and a wall here. Rather, the, what happened was, it was two walls that are together in the corner. These two walls. And since normal individuals don't make openings, doorways, in the corner, so maybe let's not consider it a Pesach. Now, when I was learning the sugya, I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, in America, I think in England as well, different countries, they do have stores on the corner, you know those, those, those uh, 24 hour shady stores on the corner, and they have a door on the corner. So I went to look for a picture, look what I found, unbelievable, voice Yeah, the people that do it, yeah, they do it. But the Gemara says normal people don't. Look at this. This is the dope store. I, I'm not kidding you. It says, we sell dope. Dope sold here. And Khanami, look, look. There's such a thing. There's such a thing as a corner store. It's not normal. Okay. Atkana. I'm, I'm just saying, there is a thing. There is a thing that maybe today is a little different. Says the Gemara. The chain bayish and ifres mishtei ruchoisov. Says the Gemara, okay, so now the house is breached on two sides. So, we know about the concept of Pitikri Yoyer Vesoysim. If you have, we went outside yesterday, I can't even go outside because Noah made me close my tris. But if you have a nice flat surface, it goes downwards. So what's the difference if it's on one side or two sides? So you have two breaches. So Invoke this Pitigri uh, Yarvisaisim twice. What's the big deal? Says the Gemara, Amri the Rav, Mishmei the Rav. So the Talmud the Rav said the name of Rav, Kigoin Shinifraz Bekeren Zovis Bekiruyov Bal Achsoin. A brand new Pshat in the Mishnah that we, we wouldn't dream of such a Pshat, but that's what Rav said. Now what? We're talking about the breach is on the corner, not like this picture. This picture, one breach here, one breach here, great. His breach is literally on the corner, like so. These two walls are missing. But more than that, it's a slanty roof. Now, it was very rare in those days to have these pitch roofs like we have today. But it's a slanty roof. And so what if it's a slanty roof? When do you say Pitikra? This is a typical, when this is perpendicular to the ground, it's nice and flat, straight, great. But you don't say P. Tikra, we had this, uh, we had this by the Chsadra case. Remember when the Chsadra goes like this? You cannot say P. Tikra because then you're, the wall is going to end up on an angle if you continue the wall. You can't go downwards, it's not with the angle, of the, it's not in the pitch of the roof. We don't say P. Tikra, Yari Vesaisim, when the roof is on an angle. Okay, so that's Rav. Rav says that the breach is less than 10 amas. Ushmul Omar Afidu Biasar We're talking about the breach is more than 10 amas. If so, we have the original question. Yochim Iruach Achas Nami. 
So then why do you have to have two breaches? Once you have one giant breach of ten Amois, that's enough to ruin everything. It says the Gemara, Mishum Bayis. Doesn't explain, but in a house it's different. A house you need two breaches. Why is Gufei Tikshe? Why? Why is a house different? Maishnu Meruach Achas Daminim Pitikur Yair V'Soisem. Mishnei Ruach Is Nami Neimo Pitikur Yair V'Soisem. Why in a house is it different? If you have two breaches, just make an imaginary invisible wall and you're good to go twice. Question number one. So let's remember this question because this is the question we're going to address later. Again, what's the difference if there's two breaches? You could say P. Tikr Yair Vesaisim on two breaches. What's the problem? If you could say P. Tikr Yair Vesaisim on one, you could say it on two. There's no difference. Uh, like Lavud. Do you say Lavud only one time? You say Lavud a hundred times in a row. Says the Gemara, Vesu, question number two. And this question we're going to get rid of. We're going to be, we'll remain with the first question. Me is the Shmuel Pitikur Yair Vesayisim. Does Shmuel even agree to this whole concept of Pitikur Yair Vesayisim? It's a lachem Mishim Vesinus. I don't know how he could argue with it so much, but it seems like he doesn't even agree that there's such a concept. Vayitmar, the famous case, Achsad Rebbeiko. Here, if you don't remember, you have a, a pergola in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a desert, meaning it's not touching any walls, it's not up against the house. Rav, Omar, Mutal, Tadabakula, you say, P. Tikri, Yair, Vesaisim, it comes downwards on all four sides, so therefore I could carry underneath it. Ushmul, Omar, Yimitatim, Bayel, Bedal, Ramas, you're stuck, you can't go anywhere. Dal, Ramas, you could carry Dal, Ramas, Rishas, Ramas, too. In other words, you can't go anywhere in, in this Achsadra. Says Gemara Le Kasha, not a good Kasha from there. Ki Lesli Barba. Shmuel argues not on the concept of P. Tikra. That you don't see P. Tikra when it's wide open on all four sides, like in this picture. Ava Bashalaj Isla. In a house, that there's other walls. So if there's a breach in a wall, P. Tikra, you're a But the bottom line is, I'm, I remain with the original question. Me call Makim Kasha. So, say P. Tikra twice. Why is it if there's one breach, Shmuel says P. Tikra, and if there's two breaches, not? Says the Gemara. You agree to me that Rav came up with some sort of terrets that you would have never dreamt of. It, there's no hint in the Mishnah to this Pshat of Rav that we're talking about a corner and we're talking about a slanty roof. He made it up. He made it up. He heard it from somebody. But it's not in the Mishnah. So Mela, I, Shmuel, also have the right to come up with a very wild pshat. And my pshat is going to be even wilder than yours. Rav came up with a pshat that it's in the corner and, and the roof is slanty. I'm also going to go with that, that it's in the corner, but much better. Check this out. Unbelievable. You, get, you could see it in Rashi. Rashi has a picture if you want. Here it is, it is in color. It's in the corner. But look at this. There are four pieces missing. Blue, red, blue, red. So, we just said, Shmuel doesn't say P. Tikra four times. He'll say it three times, two times, but not four. Over here, we have to do four P. Tikras. Four P. Tikras, I don't do according to Shmuel. Rashi just explains that it goes in four tfachim, otherwise I guess it's lavud, and then it's five tfachim, five tfachim, and four tfachim. He's trying to get to a larger breach than ten tfachim, which everybody asks, because at the end of the day, you go from here to here. You, you, you take your ruler, and you see, oh, from here to here is only seven amas. I don't follow the jagged edges of, of the broken roof. Uh, so Rashi, like duck, he, he didn't really... He wasn't, he wasn't being specific. He was just giving you an example where you could get to 10 amas like this. The bottom line is that if you have four, there's a wild shot. You have four P tickers because they're not straight. You can't do P ticker on, on an angle in it. So may like I have to do a blue P ticker, red, blue, and red. That Shmuel holds, you can do. Says the Gemara, Shmuel Leyama Karav. Now why? If he's going with his wild pshat, why doesn't he go with Rav's wild pshat? Pshat number one, Alachsen Lektani. It doesn't mention anything about 
slanty roofs. <coughs> I'm assuming because in those days people had flat roofs. It was very rare to have a slanty roof. So to say that the Mishnah meant a slanty roof, you know how hard it is to make a pitched roof with the right pitch and this and all the rafters, it's very difficult. So a nice flat roof, it's, it's not so good against rain. Stickle problems in the rainy season, rains on you a little bit, but, but it's better, I mean, that's what they did in those days. And how come Rav doesn't come up with this wild idea that there's four peat tikras? Rav doesn't care. Four, five, twenty. You could say as many peat tikras as you want. That's no different or worse than the pergola in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> You could say Pete Tikra four times. In case you didn't remember this, if there is a pergola in the middle of the desert. Rav you could carry in everywhere. I'm reading Pete Tikra, you have on all four sides. So I could do four Pete Tikras. I can't say four Pete Tikras. I'm reading Pete Tikra, you have as we explained. Four times you don't say it, but three times yes. <clears throat> Says the Gemara, Be'eser, one shot is when I have, here, where's the picture? If these walls are less than 10 amois, kuli amoloi pligi. There's no mach like this. Why not? Because I don't have to come on to Pete Tikra. Shmuel, you're right, Shmuel doesn't say Pitikra four times. But these are not, tic- these, you don't have to say Pitikra. These are openings. These are doors. Shmuel agrees that there's a door in a house. It's closed. Door one, two, three, four. This is Avram Avinu's tent. What's wrong with that? It's less than ten amas. Kipligi, b'yeser meser. Oh, if this is wider from pole to pole more than ten amas, Rav says Pitikra, Shmuel says you don't say four times Pitikra. And some say, If it's more than 10 Amas, even Rav agrees, you cannot say Pete Tikro. The Omach Loikas is in 10, that Shmuel says, you don't say Pete and Rav says, you do. So now you have a ruin. This ruin right over here. You see, it's broken walls, but you have a beautiful beam. And we had these exact words. I know it's not familiar, but we had it. Trust me. These words. Koira arba matri b'churva. Le'el. No. It was like, uh, not the Gimel, but like, I, I don't remember where. Oh, pay aleph. That makes sense. Pay aleph. There's a nice beam across. Nothing else but a beam. You could carry in the dotted line. I don't know if you could see the yellow dotted line down here. You could carry right below the beam. I can draw water. If this is a lake, I can draw water right below the beam. Mani, who does that go according to? Well, very simple. According to the man that says, or the Lashon that we just had, that there's no machloikis in less than 10 amas. We're talking about that this is less than 10 amas right over here. And it goes according to everybody. But if there is a machlegis, even in less than 10, kirav. So then, this idea of pitikra on four, all four sides, you see how this beam is literally hanging in midair because it's on these little tiny posts or whatever it is, little nails hold it. So that's not a. Re- so you really have pitikra on all four sides. All four sides is, according to the slushan, is only rav. Or, according to the first Lashon, there's no Machlekes when it's narrower than 10. Even Shmuel will agree. You say, four Pitikras. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Shmuchaz <laughs> 
Ben Tzi Novak, Shalom Aleichem, Ramosha Hirsch, Shalom Aleichem. You guys can mute? I don't know how this works exactly. Oh. Shkoyach, Shkoyach of David. Ah, you must into what I told you. I don't see evidence of it. You talk about it. I need to see evidence. Pictures, videos. Look <laughs> over the seam of Erevin. For what? I saw your dad. I saw your dad peeking today. I saw him. Don't think I didn't notice. He came in the beginning of this year. He came over to your camera. I saw. I see. You think Gedalia? You think I don't? I, I, you think I'm not watching you, Gedalia? I'm watching you. Yeah, I know. He's. It's. It's gonna. I try. I try to. I try to make a dope when when I saw him watching. Hey, Seth. Happy birthday, Seth. How's it going over there? You okay? Rabbi Isai, I think, seriously, I think in a few years from now, you, when we go to the hospital, Chas Shalom or whatever it is, like, you're a dentist that graduated in 2020? No thank you. You're a lawyer, 2020 lawyer? No thank you. How about you got married in 2020? Mm, I don't know. You're one of those 10 people weddings. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So, Seth, you're different. You go to school, though. Yeah, I'm at school. You're at school, okay. Almost 100 journalism students. It's a little bit easier. It's not like I got to work on the people. I just, you know, write stuff. Journalism. I mean, but, but Bensi, you heard about this? That in, I think in America they were giving nurses certificates without, te- without tests and stuff. Like, yeah, like... On Zoom? What was he doing, putting out fires on the screen? A simulator? It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Gdai has a sense of humor. Wow. <laughs> Was that not my, It's a real store. I, I don't know where it is. Um, uh, Emesis store. What 80s? This, this picture was taken recently. What does it say here? It says, R, what does R99 mean? Is that like in Holland or something? Yeah, the, the, I think the, I think this picture is I think this whole picture is made up. If you look closely over here, look at this. It's fake. The awning is fake. It's too perfect. Hillel, Hill Abrams, are you on? It's Ravelli there. Hey, Ravelli. Shalom, how are you? Ravelli, Ravelli. Yeah. 
I know you you once sponsored. I wasn't sure if your name is Laker or Lacker. That wasn't you. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't sponsored. So somebody else. Shalom Aleichem from Modi Thank you. wonderful Thank you, thank you. So, so you're doing recruiting in Modi You know what? I have six. I'm wondering, is the group picture good? A hundred percent. What do you mean? Okay. We would love it. We would love it. Okay. Maybe send us a video. Maybe if you send us a video, we'll, we'll feature it at the Siyum. The Modi Inn Chevro. Yeah, the whole COVID thing you're saying. 